Hey guys, it's C. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here and welcome to another episode of Vlogmas. So today we are in the kitchen making some broccoli cheddar chicken soup. I saw this recipe on Instagram on Cooking with Jay's channel and I wanted to give it a try. So you don't need much ingredients. This is a quick and easy recipe, which is why we have the rotisserie chicken there. Um, I got all the ingredients from Walmart except for the... Um, broccoli but you know you can get that from Walmart as well so you just start by cutting up your onion um, and back to the rotisserie chicken I um, used that because she used it in her video and it definitely made it quicker especially if you know you don't have much time all you have to do <laughs> is pick one of those up take the skin off and then just use the chicken and chop it up um, but yeah I just chop the onions up put some butter in the pan in the pot um, it did call for garlic, which I thought we had some here at home, but we did not. But if you have minced garlic, you can definitely include that. Um, and then I just used some shredded carrots. Again, quick and easy. Not No labor at all. Um, you just get those from the store, saute them down a little bit with the onions, and then um, go ahead and add some seasoning. Now, the broccoli that I used was the steamable broccoli, so it was frozen. You can use fresh broccoli, which it will give you the same outcome, but we had already had frozen broccoli in the freeze in the freezer, so I just went ahead and used what we had. So I just steamed it for about two minutes. I didn't steam it all the way through because I knew it would cook down in the pot, um, and so that's what I did. And then I also added in some flour to help thicken up the soup a little bit and then i added in that broccoli the first bag i forgot to chop up so i didn't chop that up but it's, it's fine because it cooked down anyway but the second bag i did chop up and then i added in some chicken broth and i used about a carton and a third like i used that first full carton and then i used about a third or maybe half of the other one so i would just say get two just in case depending on how big your pot is but i think i used about a carton and a half um then i mix that in season it and you know let it cook down a little bit and then you add in some heavy whipping cream y'all this recipe was super simple super easy and super quick y'all know i'm all about quick and easy recipes um so i would say definitely give this one a try i am not on camera tonight because your girl was looking a hot mess and i was doing a whole lot today so i didn't have a chance to actually get on camera but me and bae did try this so i'll give y'all um, my review at the end but yeah so you just add in some more seasonings because even though you season it a little bit at the beginning once you put the heavy cream in it kind of takes away from some of the flavor um so yeah you do that add in the heavy cream and then let that um start boiling just a little bit and then let it simmer and then put it um put it on low cover and let it simmer and while it did that i went ahead and um chopped up the chicken and this is how it looks um, before I put the lid on it and then there it is boiling I turned it down and then I covered it and then I, like I said I used the rotisserie chicken <laughs> I got the regular one but Walmart ended up giving me um, a lemon pepper one because the regular ones were out of stock but it didn't have that lemon pepper flavor because I thought that would kind of mess up the soup but it didn't because it didn't taste like lemon pepper at all <laughs> um, but I just went ahead and um, used like the breast and the thighs the wings and the legs I put to the side and me and Bae just kind of had those as a snack <laughs> but I used the breast and the thighs and I took the um, skin off she did say to take it off and I can kind of see why because you would really have to cut it up um, in order for it to not be chewy in the soup. So I didn't use the skin as y'all can see here I just chopped the chicken up with my fingers. You can use your knife um, But it wasn't necessary because I mean it's not tough um, I didn't use the entire chicken like I said I put the wings and legs to the side But for the most part I used just about um, Everything else, but there were like a few pieces still left on there even even after this clip I did use a little bit more chicken, but I didn't feel like I needed that much because my pot was already kind of full um, And you'll see once I put the chicken in how full it was so you can kind of just use your judgment on how much you think you need to use um, I did use two packets of cheese. I got the Kobe Jack cheese 
and I had um, mild cheddar. I put it in here, mixed it in, added the chicken in, but then later on I did end up pouring all the rest of it in there because I did want it to be uh, a little more cheesier. Um, so use it at your discretion. Tweak this meal how you want it to tweak it. Like I said, she used different things um, or whatever, but um, you can just use it and tweak it to how you want it to be. Um, but like I said, it's super simple, super easy. It didn't take that long at all. Um, she actually made hers into a pot pie. I don't like pot pie, so I didn't do that. But you can do all kind of things with soup. Um, I, I wanted to try a bread bowl, but I never ended up going to get the um, bread bowls or, or the the dough for the bread bowls. So I ended up just doing grilled cheese, which is what you're going to see me make here in a second. But yeah, guys, uh, once I let it all cooked together i went back and i tasted it and i felt like it needed a little bit more seasoning so of course taste as you go so i added in a little more seasoning covered it and then i made the grilled cheese and that was it you can make whatever you want to make to go with it or not have any bread at all but yeah this was really really quick really really good um like i said me and Bay did not get on camera tonight but we both said it was a 10 out of 10. i asked Bay what he thought um would make it even better or what he would change and he said um, he thought it would be good to add bacon into it and it, I said that's exactly what I was thinking too when I was putting everything in I said some turkey bacon would have been good in this <laughs> so um, If you want to try it with bacon definitely try it because I do think that would have been a good um, touch to add to it But yeah guys this meal like I said was quick easy and simple and I keep saying that because I want y'all to really see how simple it really was so let me know in the comments if you are going to try this it was really good my um girl make you a plate because i know you're gonna be <laughs> asking because she loves broccoli and cheddar soup but yeah guys let me know in the comments if you would try this dish but i'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up but as always thank y'all for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and share this video with somebody and i'll see y'all in the next one which will be tomorrow bye guys love y'all